Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode to my God of War playthrough. In the last couple parts, I killed Balder. Freya is beyond mad, as you can imagine. Went and killed all the Valkyries and the Valkyrie Queen, and now I am ready to head to Jotunheim. I'm partially dreading this because I know that it's close to the end of the game, and I'm very sad about it. I really don't want this to end, but I know it has to, and Ragnarok's coming out, so it'll be okay. I'm so grateful I've got to experience this game for the first time with you guys. This has been such a blast. I've loved every second of the gameplay, the fighting, the story, the side quests. It's just been so much fun and I've enjoyed every moment of it. And now it is finally time to see how this game ends. So let's get into it. I already feel emotional, dude. <laughs> I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna freaking cry. Wait, so Freya is the Valkyrie Queen? She never told us. You never told us. Explain yourself, Head. Or are you bewitched again? Not at all. Freya was queen of the Valkyries at one point. Part of her marriage dowry included overseeing the Valkyries themselves. As a powerful Vanir goddess, they revered her. I never knew how much until now. <gasps> mm. <sighs> all right. What's got you all bum fuzzled over there? Get going. I feel like I've been avoiding this. <laughs> Is that not obvious? I killed every Valkyrie before doing this. Here we go. Here we go. Boy, go ahead. Get ready. Oh, right. Got him. Let's hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, hadn't considered that. Maybe <laughs> we should talk about this a bit more. <laughs> nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Let's do it. Ready. <laughs> now, boy. Here we go. We must be close. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? He put Mimir on his far? hip like a keychain. <laughs> A word, please, before we continue. <laughs> Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone were to fight... My lady sifts soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. <laughs> we had to see this. Oh no. No, 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 no. Fine, damn it. Fine. Watch the head till we return. <laughs> I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Come. I don't know why I'm crying so much. Okay, no, I think I do know why. <laughs> I think I'm crying so much because this is the first time that Kratos has had an ending that wasn't just, you know, 
sad, someone getting hurt, someone getting killed. At least I hope not. It seemed like an emotional ending with the sun, you know? Can't see. Well, there it goes. Look, we're on the giant's fingers. I can see the highest peak ahead, right over there. We did it. <laughs> we did. <sighs> yep. Dude, I love this game. <laughs> you know that meant so much to Atreus. <sighs> Let's do it. <laughs> Please, no asshole hmm. gods ruin this. Please. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. If Odin or someone shows up, I'm killing them on the spot. <laughs> They're Hello? dying. Anybody here? What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. Why carve all these faces? What if this is all of the giants that got out of Midgard alive? Not really many at all. Odin and Thor ruining everything for everybody. Okay. The dream of Midgard. Midgard was a dream of what could be if we shared and collaborated. Jotnar, Asir, Vanir, Elf, Dwarf, and mortals most of all. It was beautiful, but not everyone is capable of sharing. Some believe every anything uncontrolled is savage and threatening, and so we were mocked and tricked and used and then slaughtered. Odin and his tribe were barred from our realm, but it was not enough. The wrath of Thor and his terrible hammer have thinned our numbers in Midgard to the brink of ruin. There is no option but to withdraw, while yet any live to do so. Odin and Thor would have killed all the giants if they could, and they got away with everything. I'm coming for them. <laughs> huh. Who's the guardian? Dude, this place looks amazing. It feels like ancient in here. <laughs> Does that make sense? The Guardian returns. We foresee Midgard's fate overrun a second hell. Neither Odin nor his dead may reach Jotunheim. The ways must be shut. The serpent and the Guardian remained. They alone shall keep our hope. When doom befalls the indestructible, only then shall the Guardian return. Until then, we await a better world. One without fear, without greed, without war. We wait for deliverance and justice. We wait for a champion. We will wait for a word that gods grow good. Hope that world will get here soon. <laughs> These are good gods. I should well, now, <laughs> Kratos is good now. This place is dead. Atreus what is good. Why'd mom send us here? One question is answered and two more take its place. 
wonder why she sent them here. Does she know they need help or something? Or she knows something, maybe. I don't know. Wait! Father! Something's happening! When he had touched it. I feel like there's something special about his mom, but what? It's your axe. It's smaller. No. Look. She's arguing with a bunch of giants. She knew giants? She was a giant. Is that what it is? That's us. The first time we met the world serpent. But how? And our fight with Balder! But that just happened. Oh my god. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. All these drawings. This is our story. No. Oh. This is your story. <laughs> but... What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. You didn't know. She was a giant. Oh my god. He's part god, part giant? No way. I'm a giant. she tell us she sent us here knowing we would find this but why not just tell us the truth your mother would have had good reasons yeah I want to know what reasons though Mother was never <laughs> sent to find me he was tracking her all along not knowing she was only ashes if she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. Nope. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. Wait a second. Wait a freaking second. What? <laughs> um, can we lift that back up, please? Was that? <laughs> Was that Kratos? Dead in his arms? Are you kidding me? This whole episode's gonna be tears. <laughs> I did not intend to cry as soon as I started playing. <laughs> it's mother's. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Let's finish it. I guess that explains why she taught him so much. She wanted him to know. Okay, how do I get up? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> I cannot believe that that's gonna happen. Kratos has changed fate too many times already. I can't, I can't believe that that just has to be that way. Fate can be changed. Please no. <laughs> Please no. <laughs> if that was even him, I think it was. Father. No. We do it together. 
together. Son. Look at all the giants. Goodbye, Faye. I love you, Mom. <gasps> the giants. They really are all gone. There's nothing for us here. Not all of them. So, I get that mother was a giant, which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. <laughs> I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. The giants called me... Loki? Loki? That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. Holy shit. I've heard of the name Loki. I, like, in a Viking show, but... I don't really know much about Loki. Dude. <laughs> I hate that they're all dead. There's gotta be some out there, right? They can't all be dead. Why is Odin so obsessed with getting here if they're all dead? I don't understand. Yes, it all makes sense now. Why she want to end up here? Be with her kind? But did she know it was going to be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people? Or keep it a secret? I... do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. oh. Well... Holy shit. So, why'd you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. <laughs> he was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We trained from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Hmm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told me that story. <laughs> you missed it. <laughs> Dude, Kratos has changed so much. If that's the reason he wanted to name him Atreus. Wow.
I'm so excited for the next game now. This is oh my god. But maybe helping people is part of why mom sent us out here too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. Weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. Dude, I'm so excited. Lads, am I glad to see you. I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Lemir? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? Okay, I guess we're heading home. Continue exploring. Complete dwarven favors. Free dragons. Travel to Muspelheim and Nilf Nilfheim. Find new items in the shop to get powerful equipment that will allow you to defeat all the legendary corrupted Valkyries. <laughs> I already did Muspelheim, the Valkyries. I explored a little bit of um, Niflheim, but... Allows you to start a new game while maintaining your equipment. Tax over can be accessed anytime from within the game's option menus. Okay. Okay, I see. Let's um head home though. I've been told that I don't want to miss whatever's there. Wow. Before we return to Midgard, I should warn you. More time has passed than you likely realize. The snowfall that began when you swooped Boulder has become something else. The stuff of omens. We're becoming a winter. Not just any winter, but a great winter to span three summers. Oh God. It's done. Ragnarok begins. Ragnarok. From snow. Aye. Snow. Lots more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. In that approximate order. Another prophecy. No, brother. Prophecy doesn't expect this for a hundred more winters at least. You've changed something. Prophecy didn't count on you. Oh, God. What does it mean, though, prophecy I'm didn't count on him? Fimble winter. I can feel it in my scrot. Fimble this winter. Is a big one. Stop saying that. Oh, you're making me very nervous. It was bound to snow sooner or later. That ain't just snow and you know it. It's the end times. How dare you make me the voice of reason. Guys, just discussing the weather. Bit of a cold snap lately. What he means is, Fimble winter's upon us, boys. The winter to end all winters. I can feel it in my screw. Y yeah, we, we heard. So if you're heading home, Try to keep moving, and also, to not die. Or if you're not heading home, same it, guys. Maybe no more crying. <laughs> I'll try to hold it together. I'm confused, though. He said that Kratos changed the prophecy, but in the Giants... Or maybe only the giants knew about that. I guess that wasn't actual prophecy that Odin would know about. Only the giants knew about Kratos changing things. Maybe he's the, you know, well, I don't know. Maybe him and Atreus are the key to changing Ragnarok. So it's not end times. What am I doing? Head back. <laughs> I'm so frazzled. I'm just... Completely lost here. I can use the gateway. Okay. Hopefully, I'm able to use this. I should be able to. Mm, home's over here. I don't know what it's called, though. Home. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I probably should have assumed that. Brothers, there's another thing I must let you know. From the time you were away in Jotunheim. Well, tell us then. It concerns Freya. She paid me a visit. What did you tell her? 
What little I know about where Odin may have kept her Valkyrie wings. Seems she's rather bent on reclaiming her warrior spirit. Oh my god. I'm afraid the cycle of vengeance may not be so easily broken. <gasps> wow. So I'm assuming next game we're gonna have to be dealing with Freya as a Valkyrie. Wonderful. We're finally home. That'll be Feels tough. Feels like a lifetime ago. Bit drafty, maybe. But it's a right improvement over having tree bark in your tadger. Okay. I'm assuming I just go in the house. Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Dude, I bet they're so tired. They've been going non-stop. Okay, this'll do. <laughs> uh, pop your Sweet. feet up. Way ahead of you. Years later, the ball. No. I was gonna say, it looks like Thor. <laughs> no freaking way. He's gonna get fucked up. <laughs> oh my goodness. What a good freaking game, dude. I feel so emotional. <laughs> oh, God. I think I just feel emotional because this is the, like, compared to the last game where I was emotional because I thought Kratos was dead and that was just really emotional ending. I feel like this was emotional in a completely different way, like a hopeful way. You kind of see Kratos being close with his son and I don't, I wouldn't call it a happy ending, but it's a happier ending, if that makes sense. It just felt like things were at least temporarily settled. And I don't know. It just <laughs> it just felt like a nice ending. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Hold it together. <laughs> Whew. I'm so glad I've played these games. Holy shit, dude. I'm so freaking glad. I don't know how I would have in like played this game the same way without playing the last ones. Like I don't feel like it would have been the same emotional experience to me. <laughs> I have a tear here just hanging on for dear life. <laughs> oh shit. Atreus. Are you ready? Yeah, but I had the weirdest dream. Fimbul winter was ending, and Thor came for us, here at the house. It was only a dream. But it felt different. It felt real. It felt like the future. Oh then my we god. Then we worry about it tomorrow. Today, there are still things we can do. Come. Dude, how fucking cool. Where do I start? Um, as you guys know, I absolutely loved this game. I have zero complaints. I think they did the story amazing. The gameplay felt amazing. The side quests were amazing. Just every aspect of this game just felt perfect. I don't have any complaints, truly. I can 100% see why this game won game of the year in 2018 this game was phenomenal 
and I am very excited to play Ragnarok. This journey of playing um, the old games and then now this game is something I really never expected to be what it is. It has been just so much emotion and I could have never predicted that. So my verdict for this game is a million out of 10. I am so freaking excited for Ragnarok. If this game is this good, I can only imagine how good Ragnarok's gonna be. And now that I'm finished with this, I can finally watch the trailer. So you guys be on the lookout for that here soon. I'll get my reaction up, but I'm just so happy I got to play this game for the first time. I appreciate you guys being here and following along with the journey, showing so much love and support. It makes the experience 10 times better when you have such kind people in the comments cheering you on. So this wraps up the God of War 2018 playthrough here on the channel. I will be streaming myself trying to platinum the game up until Ragnarok. So if you're interested in that kind of content, you can follow me on Twitch. But I truly hope you guys have enjoyed this. I know I have. Thank you so much for all your love and support. And I will see you guys for the next playthrough. Bye, guys.